what's up guys for today's job we're going to be digging some deep footing holes using my bobcat auger you can see here this is the uh the 30c model it's a direct drive we are going to be digging two different footings whether well, they're, they're like concrete pier footings um, one's going to be five feet deep and the other is going to be seven feet deep and for the seven footers the reason why we need this extension we actually just had to fabricate this extension yesterday i bought this piece online um and it's it, it's for a auger that accepts the round bits this bobcat auger has a combination shaft so it takes hex and round so that adapter wouldn't slide all the way up to the round part so what we had to do sorry for spinning like that on you I, what we had to do is get this piece of pipe welded on so now that whole shaft will fit in there <clears throat> let me show you this is a mcdonald's by the way so it's a pretty busy drive through we're putting in two signs one right here and one right over there this first footing we ran into a uh, a conduit we dig down about three feet by hand to see what's in there so we got two conduits there we're gonna have to reroute those and then this second footing is going to be really interesting because it needs to go right where this junction box is so we're gonna have to reroute a lot of stuff before we're able to dig the hole should be fun but let's get started So our first footing holes uh, done. You see, we got some water down there. I don't think I mentioned we're only about a half mile from the ocean, so that was kind of expected. That conduit—that's a dead conduit. That's going to that footer over there, which is nothing anymore. So we weren't worried about that one. That was the more interesting part. We got to dig this box up or relocate all this because this is where our next hole is getting, going. So we're getting ready to drill the big hole. We got our conduits out of the way, right here. We got another one pulled back over there. It's a tight spot and a big drill bit. Hopefully this goes smooth.
a mess. We found the ocean. All right, guys, we are all set and ready for concrete. You see here we have our rebar cage in, our anchor bolts in, and our conduits coming up the center of the footer. They'll go right into the bottom of the signs. This one wasn't so bad. The one over here, this one put up a fight. This was the one that was seven feet deep. You see there's a little bit of water down in the bottom. As soon as we got to about five feet, just like that one, we hit some water. So what happened was, as we're augering down, the sides were collapsing in. So we ended up taking a sauna tube, driving it all the way down to the bottom, and then we had to use post hole diggers to just do the last like foot and a half. It wasn't fun, but we got it. We had an uh, we had our inspection yesterday. He was happy with everything. Um, and like I said, we have the concrete coming. He should be here in the next half an hour. We got this box moved over. We didn't have to move it much, thankfully. Um, I think we only moved it, I don't know, maybe a foot and a half, but that's where the footer needed to go. So yeah, I'll get the camera rolling again once the truck gets here. Alright, so my battery did die part way through the concrete pour, but you can see this is uh, this is the almost finished product. We gotta wait for it to set up a little bit more. We'll pull that plate off and, and round it out a little bit. That concrete was pretty wet actually. You see here's the second one. If I was doing a slab, I don't know, there's I don't do a lot of slab work, but if I was doing a slab I might have rejected it because it was it was really watery coming out. And it's it's taking forever to get to this point we probably got another hour before we could really you know trowel it off and get it to what we want it to look like but anyways guys thanks for watching as usual don't forget to uh hit that thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel i'll see you on the next one